Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. <laughs> we have a hungry little boy here this morning. 642, welcome back. And Julie has half pint with us this morning. Thanks for joining us. Have I told you how much I love puppies? <laughs> oh. yeah, I was just thinking this morning when we were up at, at 430, I'm like, I remember 10 years ago, we used to fight for who used to be able to take the puppies. Yep. Now, 10 years later, we fight for trying to give them away uh -huh. to other fosters, other rescues, and we can't keep up. And well, unfortunately, like he was the only one that came came alive, came back alive on this one. And uh, yeah, it's been a long couple weeks yeah. of um, this well, heat and animals dying. Yeah. Um, yeah, I asked my husband the other day, I mean, this is like really trying yeah. on your soul and trying on your heart um, when you have to wrap babies up in blankets and dispose of them and take them to be cremated. So it's just been a long couple uh, couple weeks for rescue and yeah. these and puppies don't make it in this heat. And I mean, in your experience in 10 years, I mean, it, it, it seems like it's getting worse. Yeah, it, <laughs> it is. We cry a lot yeah. and we didn't used to cry this much because you could always find a rescue or shelter, even if it was a state away to help you. And now yeah. that's not how it goes anymore. Now we struggle and 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 use our basements and our cooled and heated garages and our yeah. back bedrooms and some of the diehards in rescue and yeah and then you hope that people will take care of these guys and love them because yep. you know how much work puppies exactly are. oh yeah the puppies yeah they're cute they're adorable but it is it's a lot of work yeah. like a like a newborn and then eight months later you've got a really busy uh, you mm -hmm. know dog that needs exercise and and so it's just a continuous battle yeah. and you try to spread the puppies out between um rescues and shelters across the state and the yeah. tri-state area and it doesn't always doesn't always happen well, so obviously you need the more people to adopt but even foster would you say that foster families are probably most what you need most right now yes yeah foster, foster families. families and sometimes you only have these puppies for a week yeah you know because if it wasn't for you guys and for Facebook and Instagram and all the social media, we wouldn't be able to find families yeah. looking. So this is a blessing to us, but you have to find the right family too. Yep, yep exactly. Because yeah. you guys are diligent. You, yeah. You're all diligent about making sure you try animals to be are placed right. in the right home, yeah. in a good home that is less likely to be returned back to you. Yeah, we all hope we're gonna exercise every day <laughs> or find it in us, but yeah. we don't always have the time and energy and, and the wherewithal to say, oh, I'm gonna acclimate this puppy and I'm gonna take him to doggy daycare a couple days yeah. a week, or I'm gonna hire someone in. Mm -hmm. You know, when people call me on now and say, I need to get rid of my animal. No, we're gonna go yeah. through all the steps first because right. you're not doing what's right. That right. animal wants to be with you. Right. Um, let's try to battle through. For sure. So. And you have an event maybe yeah. coming up this weekend if the rain holds off. Yeah, if the rain holds off, we'll be at the, over by the Willikers, is it Family Fair? Yep. From 11 to two and Sleepy Hollow, yep. I believe um, for the next night or two. Perfect. So Sleepy Hollow Family Fair this weekend. Okay. and. Well, we're gonna find us on Facebook. We're gonna hope that Stone gives us some dry weather. Yeah, give us a dry couple hours. Stone. We're gonna let you uh, go feed half pint here because he's crying. He 